Hello, this video is going to show how to install the Graco Extensivit convertible car seat in a front facing position. Before we get started, we're going to go through the entire installation step by step, but I need to show two important features that are going to be part of the installation. The first is to take note of on the back of the car seat to look for something like this with this hook. This is an anchor hook that's going to be installed or I should say gripping a uh, connector on the back of your car seat. So we're going to want to keep that out. Make sure it's not tangled before you install. And then you're also going to want to make sure that we have this area uh, visible to us when we're installing. Underneath the seat if you stick your hand through here, it actually come out on the other side, right here. And that is where the lap belt of your car seat is going to go through to keep this anchored in your car. So those are two important things to keep in mind when we do the install. What we're going to do now is I'm going to run through the install step by step from start to finish. And hopefully that will help you with your Graco car seat installation. So the first thing you want to do when you're installing the car seat is make sure that the front seat in your car is moved up for enough, far enough for this to even get in. Now, once this is in, the car seat is in, you can pull down on this and move it up or down depending on how much room you want for your child to have their feet hang out. Um, you can also change the reclining position. There's a lever underneath here. There's a lever and that rotates. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's explained in the instruction manual. So I'm not going to go over all the details of this car seat, focusing mainly on the installation. So once you have the car seat in a spot in the settings that you'd like, what you're going to do is you're going to find your lap belt and you're going to pull on this lap belt until you hear that click. You want to have it pulled out as far as it goes. And then for this step, you can either hold it yourself or if you're more comfortable, have someone else hold this. Then you take the buckle right here and you slide that through the opening that I was showing earlier. And it will come out on the other side. So once that's out on the other side, you'll take that and buckle it. And then what you want to focus on doing is getting all the slack, which I'm doing by pulling on the other end. You want to get all the slack, see all that slack's there? You get all that slack out. And once you have it in a position that's tight, you can start to let go on this. And when you let that go, it reaches a certain point where it's in there. It's tight. The next step is you want to find this anchor hook that we looked at earlier. And this will go under the headrest. And there's usually an opening in the back. This little thing will lift in most cars. This hook, there, there's a bar in there and this hook is going to go right around that. So what you do is you take that and you click it in there. And that's another way for this to hold. And then you can put this down if you want to move your headrest down to a position you like. And then you can hide the, the rest of the slack behind the car seat. And now what you have is you have it front facing. It's installed properly. You want to make sure that this is attached, which we just did. You want to make sure that this is really tight. So this hardly has any wiggle room at all. And I've even seen people sometimes kind of put their knee in here when they're installing the car seat to make sure it's in there. But this is in there. And uh, this allows me to still use all the functions of the car seat. And it's front facing. So again, thanks for watching and I hope that helped you.